Hello friends, today we are going to talk about a beautiful foliage plant called Arelia. The one which you are seeing in my hand, I have purchased this locally and it just costed me rupees 30. Even you can get it in your local nursery or you can buy it online. So before moving forward, let me welcome you to my channel Gardening for All and if you have not subscribed my channel, request you to kindly subscribe and press the bell icon. So this plant, since it is an indoor plant or can be kept in a semi shade area or in direct sunlight area the very important thing is the soil combination and that is what is the first factor which we need to take care whenever we trying to uh, pot any of the uh, plant in the indoor or some of the plant sensitive like this so here what we are using is 25 percent of uh, garden soil 25 percent vermicompost 25 percent of uh, rice husk which can be replaced by sand the one which you green color seen that was a micronutrient and this is the zyme factor uh, zyme and uh, you know uh, fertilizer so with this combination we are going to add also a perlite and a cocoa peat so this is what something our potting mix is going to be we'll mix it well before that uh, let's loosen the soil to get the root out because that will help to settle down the plant very easy into the new soil environment again for that you can soak the entire root ball in water but generally what happens with that the whole root ball get damaged and the plant may go into shock so it's if the soil is soft it's good to you know loosen the soil uh, with the hand and you can get the little bit of root out so it will get settled into the you know new in new environment very faster don't try to disturb the whole root ball because that will again give the shock to the plant and plant may die so We'll do this and then we will follow a very simple process which we're doing for any, you know, repotting. Uh, we'll uh, fill the soil half and then we'll place the, uh, you know, pot on uh, the plant on that and fill with the uh, balanced soil in the side. And that's what you're seeing currently. But, but that we are also adding up, uh, you know, a fungicide, two spoon of fungicide and two spoon of uh, neem cake powder to the soil combination so that the fungal infections can be kept aside because indoor plants generally they are not exposed to the sun so they are very prone to fungal infection so it's important for us to take care of that part so this is what we will do now when we will talk about the light so this plant loves to have early morning light but then it is a soft light it's like of sunlight if you get early morning uh, which is a uh, quite uh, you know a softer that light this plant loves otherwise indirect sunlight so do not expose this plant to uh, any time to direct sunlight or afternoon sunlight or 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. This may kill the plant because it won't sustain. Second uh, important thing is the watering. Now when we water any indoor plant, we have to ensure that uh, the top soil should be one inch uh, or one and a half inch is dried. You, you can uh, you know use your finger and check that thing. And then only you should water the uh, plant. And water in such a way that excess water should drain out through the drain hole. If you just moisten the top soil, then the roots basically uh, will be in the bottom of the you know uh, pot and does not get enough water. Because of that, the plant may die. So it is very important for us to water the plant. And many of the plants, like 70% plant died because of wrong watering. So that's something which is very simple but crucial for us to manage. As you see here, the excess water has drained out means the potting combination is very very good. It is really you know uh, helped us to get the excess water drained out. So this is the perfect uh, potting combination. Now we talk about moisture. So this plant you know needs bit moisture because uh, you know uh, that's the good environment for uh, it this plant to grow. For that misting will be helping hand. So probably by 10 or 11 o'clock. In especially in summer days or the areas where the summer continues for longer period you can do a misting of it or if the afternoons are too hot then do a bit misting of it so that this plant can grow well or keep it in a place where it is not exposed to the hot waves or you know hot, hot uh, air so that it does not you know loses the moisture and dies off now the last thing we'll talk about fertilizer and this is the plant which i was talking about it, i purchased around 10 months back it is in green color same aurelia plant and what fertilizer I used here to grow this plant so beautiful is the cow dunk cake liquid fertilizer. Dilution ratio 1 is to 10. You all know how to make that. If not, I have described in other videos. You can go and see that. Or even a wormy compost tea if you give. That's a very good diluted and give every 30 days once. So this fertilizer if you continue, any indoor plant will grow very well. 
but one important thing is that pesticide make sure that every 10 days we put a spray of neem oil with a dilution ratio of uh, 1 is to 10 into the 1 liter of water with that your plant will bloom very well it will be look so attractive so i hope all this information is going to be helpful to you thanks for watching thank you